Okay, so in a game like this, there's not particularly much I can do in the scouting capacity. So, I want to get there already, but this is a choke point map with tier 10s, so I park for a bit and try to get all the information I can before moving. At this point, my plan is to go through the center, but I'm unsure what they have in their base. I know with my speed I can make it there, it's just whether or not I can make it into the base. Okay, so I've got to worry about an E4. And a waffle. But then, the waffle dies, and I think I can get past the E4 with my team on the left there, applying pressure. I mean, at this point, they've basically lost anyway, but had it still been stagnant in the north and south, and I had gathered the same information, I would still be moving. Of course, I didn't expect the waffle there, but with his poor positioning, he's going to get murdered really quickly by my teammates up in the north, so I don't call it off. With that waffle dead and the E4 pinned, uh, and all the other tanks accounted for, I am quite certain there is nothing at this point that can stop me at all. So, as I pass the point of no return, I decide to go with it. Not every game is over before I do anything. Um, a lot of games last a little bit longer than this when I play my scout. But on maps where you can't really get around on the enemy, and they have a lot of big guns they can one-shot you or two-shot you, it's important to just take a minute aside to determine where the enemy is and then act on that information. Now, had I not been playing the choke point hell map, I would have went for earlier lights and then I would have waited in a similar fashion to go get their arty once I had been sure I could get them without dying. Uh, unfortunately on Corellia, scouting is not really that important. It's morally based on what type of tanks you have and where they go.